Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Lauren J and welcome if you are new here. I have a minuscule Sephora haul for you today. Um, it's actually for me, but I'm sharing it with you. So uh, it's that time of year. They just have the VIB sale for the holidays. So um, everybody else is sharing theirs. So I thought I would share mine. It is tiny, tiny. So I thought it might be a nice alternative. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. All right, so this is the box. You can see it is not very big. Um, so let me show you what I picked out. So the Sephora VIB sale, I am VIB. So I got the 15% off. I have never spent enough to get the Rouge, VIB Rouge 20% off. Um, however, um, I just decided that, well, there is at least one thing that I want that is really expensive and that never goes on sale, so I might as well take advantage of the 15% off and at least try to get, you know, some kind of discount, um, before it goes out of stock, and I have a feeling that it will go out of stock. Um, anyway, so I'll just pull it out and show you. So it is this, it is the replica lipstick on perfume and it says replica lipstick on 1952 chicago and it is the night blush and rice powder fragrance and it is labeled as a female fragrance i think you can label any fragrance anything you want um but the packaging is always really lovely. There's some embossed um, calendar lettering on here for the Margiela replica style. And then you have the ingredients on the back. And then we'll just open it up. And you have this beautiful bottle right here. So so pretty. I have uh, another one of these called um, Promenade in the Gardens. I don't know why I couldn't think of it. There's so many replica fragrances now, but I have the full size of Promenade in the Gardens, which is um, also, I believe, discontinued at this time. It's no longer on the Margella site or on the Sephora website. So um, this one is also no longer on the Margella site, so I have a feeling that it is going to be discontinued soon. However, I figured since it was still on the Sephora site and I could get the discount, I would go with it. Now, this is originally a $130 perfume, and I think I got about $10 or $15 off. So, um, I think with tax, it was like $115, something like that. Not a huge discount, but I figured at least I could get something, and it was just kind of an excuse to get it before it went out of stock and they don't have the little usually I get the little like $30 um, test or travel size but they don't have that for this so I decided I would just go with it and I don't have any perfume on right now so I'm going to spritz and it's just a really nice it is a scent that makes you feel like it does make you remember things. Um, that's what I love scents for. I know on YouTube there's sort of a bent towards very sweet smells and um, there's sort of a nobody's into rose, nobody's into lavender, they don't like very classic smells. I mean I love Chanel number no. five, I love very classic perfume smells, but I also love just very complex and different smells like the Margiela replica perfumes have. I have probably almost all of them in either travel size or tiny little tester size or this size. So I am super happy to have this and to sort of add to my little Margiela collection. Um, not that it's really huge, I just have one other big size besides this, but that was my purchase for the VIB sale. And I'll just show you some of the other extras that I picked up. One was a 100 point perk, and I can't remember which one it is, and two were just um, 
samples. But I think maybe it was this one that was the 100 point perk. And that is this little um, sample from the Natasha Denona, De Natasha Denona, excuse me, camel palette. And there is just a little matte shade right there. Um, let me just open it up. Maybe. And as you can see, it's just a little matte shade. It's like a little, it's called Zand, Z-A-N-D. And um, I have another one of these that I picked up from the bronze palette. So I just like collecting these little sort of singles. I just put them in my Z palette. And that is how I experienced Natasha Denona because I am, everybody on YouTube is loving her right now, but I just, I can't afford it and I can't justify 65 dollars for a small palette and 129 dollars for a large i just i can't do it so i just this is my little 100 point perk technically i guess i spent like a hundred dollars to get this because i think it's a dollar or 1.25 points per dollar whatever it is when you're vib but you gotta spend them on something <laughs> there's not a ton of things to spend on the sephora bazaar um, that's really worth it. So we have that. And then I did get this little um, Patrick Star one size go off juicy makeup remover. Um, there's just one in here. Um, I'm just going to use it for swatches. I don't really use wipes on my face, but I figured I would just pick that up. And then I got the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream, which is just sort of a staple of size you know samples on the sephora website so that is my minuscule sephora haul i am super happy with what i got i am proud of myself i guess i don't know i don't know i wouldn't say no nah, i'm not gonna say i'm proud of myself i am satisfied with what i got and i'm happy that i didn't feel the need to buy a whole ton of stuff there were things that i was definitely thinking about like those little quads from makeup by Mario or by Mario um, and some of the Fenty sets and glosses but I just decided I have enough eyeshadow I have enough lip stuff and so I'm just gonna go with something that I have wanted for a while and that never goes on sale um, so I hope you found this a cute little alternative to some of the massive like people spending thousands and thousands of dollars on their VIB Rouge sale and obviously they wouldn't be VIB Rouge if they weren't already spending that much so more power to them but um, I'm happy for you if you got a lot of stuff during the sale this is what I picked up and yeah so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it please give me a like please think about subscribing please check out some other videos on my channel I have a ton of videos and I would love for you to see them. I do makeup, I do indie brands, I do unboxings, um, I do a little bit of humor. Um, so check it out and see if you like it. I would really appreciate it. And again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.